Hi, I'm uh, José Cunha, uh, Principal Engineer at DNV, and I'm a Product Owner for Sesame Wind Manager and Genie. Fixed offshore wind turbine substructures are, as the name says, fixed uh, at the bottom of the ocean. And these structures, they must endure uh, a set of loads to make sure that they stand still in operation. But uh, in addition to operation, uh, they also must endure some temporary conditions like uh, transport and, and installation. Once these structures are in place, um, aerodynamic loads, hydrodynamic loads and gravitational loads will act on the, this structure, more or less throughout uh, the complete lifetime of the structure. And these loads, they are balanced uh, by a reaction at uh, the foundation. So when, when all of this uh, act on the structure, they create a distribution of forces throughout all the structural elements, and each structural element must be verified to make sure that it has the, the necessary capacity um, to resist all of this and uh, remain uh, properly functioning. Now, what constitutes a sufficient capacity will depend on which standard the design uh, team is uh, following and which specific uh, limit state is uh, being uh, currently addressed. So, for example, for fatigue limit state, um, the, pro the previously mentioned loads will be sufficient uh, along with the long-term evaluation of the sea state of uh, the location of the structure. But for accidental limit state, for example, other less likely uh, loads or uh, less frequent loads have to be considered, like for example, boat impact. Because of the complexity of all of these uh, cases, it is likely that uh, throughout the design of the structure, there's going to be different analysis types used. So typically, Early in the design, there's a need for very fast iterations and the design itself would change very rapidly, so there's a need to use very simple analysis methods. While as we move forward in the design, there's more certainty and a higher need for accuracy, so more complex and more time-consuming methods will be used by the design team. In the early phase of the design of the structure, Simplified methods like using damage equivalent loads for determining the fatigue life of the structure can be used uh, very simple with SESAM software. Also, natural frequency analysis, uh, including the effect of the mass of the, of the nacelle and also the hydrodynamic added mass are very easy to compute in, in this software. For the detailed design, both super element and integrated uh, the workflows are easily available and can be set up in a graphic user interface. Hydrodynamic loads based on wave, current, flooding, uh, added mass can all be computed in time domain and the response of the structure is also computed in time domain. For both fatigue limit state and ultimate limit state, all design load cases can be set up according to their wind and wave combinations and including different wave seeds, for example. In addition, for the ultimate limit state, different load factors can be set up for the environmental loads, for gravity and for buoyancy. In addition, seismic motions can also be added to the foundation in the same analysis. Please uh, visit our website or contact us if you want to know more about how SESM can uh, support your business and uh, thank you for watching.